Crafted Rose. All right, so I have made, been working on this book for a while and I finally finished it. And so now it's time for your walkthrough. So here's the front cover. These are all vintage mini flowers. All right, I tied this bow earlier and it didn't twisted when I closed the book, but that's okay. I'll retie it here in a minute. All right, so these are flippy outy pages. And the backs are good too. I think these are great for staffing with um, little pictures or photo collages or memorabilia like tickets or something. Whatever it is that you want to put in your photo album to remember your adventures by. And then it ties close here. Sometimes I get the bow on the first try and sometimes I don't. Oh, look at that, first try. All right, and then over here we have a flip tab, a swing tab, and then this folds out, and this folds this way, and then this goes this way. And in here, I put some stickers that coordinate with the paper so they can decorate according to their fancies, whoever they are. Here's a photo mat with lots of journaling space on the back. And then this comes out. And this is a spot to write things and then just some spots for paper or for pictures. I made this with um, strips of paper that I glued down. Um, I'm a big fan of that style. And then you flip it. Oh, I guess I should close it back. Then you flip it over. There's another swing tab. This flips open. There's a card here that you can write on or put pictures on. Then this comes over here. And then just like that. There you have it. And there's a video um, of me decorating this page, I think it was. I'll link that below. All right, and then over here, we made these journal cards, right? And then they hold this shut so that it can stay shut. All right, and then here's a photo waterfall. In the back of each page has some linen paper and some of them are blank and some of them have stickers on them already, but there's still plenty of room for personalization. And then flip that over. And here's a magnet closure. Opens up like this. And then this is two photo mats or journal cards, whatever you want to do with them. And this is the final page. It's a nice pocket with a closure on the top. I really like that you can put lots of things in here. Um, it's a pretty deep pocket. So I have put in here a big piece of linen paper for whatever the person who ends up with this wants to do with it. Um, a piece of scrapbook paper, um, a little journal card, something they can just like glue somewhere and add notes to or stickers. A photo mat. A little edging decoration that I thought should really go in this thing somewhere. It's really pretty. So, somebody can use it or not. A doily, it'd be great to mount a photo with. So you could like put this here and then put the photo like, like for example, like that. And then it'll kind of accent it, sort of. All right. And then a big chipboard butterfly that can go wherever your heart desires. And then a little 
sticker that also would look cute in here somewhere. All right, and that's it. That's the inside. I had a lot of fun making this. Um, I will show you here in just a second what I have left of this paper. All right, so then you close it. And this is the back, it just says wonderful, and you can put a photo on here that just kind of represents the album overall, or you could just leave it blank. And then here's the spine, so a place for a label, and then just kind of a butterfly to tie everything in together. All right, so let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video and you wanna see more things like it, please subscribe. I'd love to get up to 50 subscribers sometime in the not so distant future. Um, if you watched this far, thank you very much. All right, so these are the scraps I have left. Oh no, they just co collapsed on the ground. Okay, so um, I have another, I bought two pages of chipboard stickers um, simply because I couldn't, I can't live without these things. They're so amazing and these are gonna go super nicely on some cards in a little while. And then I have some of these left. And then I have this little bucket from the ephemera. I have one more of those stickers. I have a couple of those. Here's some outside washi tape that I brought in. A twisty tie that I do random things with. Some more stickers. Just little things like butterflies, flowers, labels. Um, little ephemera card pieces like happy birthday or happy mother's day would look great right there um and then i have all these strips and some more cutouts and then some more strips that fell on the ground but about this amount i'll pick those up later another partial page of cutouts and then i have this page which is double-sided i might end up using this side instead of this side i haven't decided this page which is single-sided Another single sided page and the final single sided page and then one more whole page of stickers. So this will turn into some nice cards or maybe if I feel froggy enough about it, I might be able to get some cards and a nice micro travelers notebook um, if I do it right. Okay, I collected the avalanche and this was everything that was in there. So, better representation of what's left. Oh, if I do it right, I could probably get hmm, 20 cards out of this. Maybe I'll just do a craft and chat where you watch me do cards. I need to do some Mother's Day cards, so I might do that. Of course, it's not, not going to work for this year, but they'll be perfect for next year. So that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.